Hello everyone, welcome to MS Safety webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to configure non-destructive pin reset for Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. Users can reset the forgotten pins using the I forgot my pin link from the Windows lock screen. Users are required to authenticate and complete multi-factor authentication to reset their PIN. There are two forms of PIN reset called destructive and non-destructive. Destructive PIN reset is the default and doesn't require any configuration. During a destructive PIN reset, the user's existing PIN and underlying credentials including any keys or certificates added to their Windows Hello container will be deleted from the client and a new login key and PIN are assigned. For non-destructive PIN reset, you must deploy the Microsoft PIN reset service and client policy to enable the PIN recovery feature. During a non-destructive PIN reset, the user's Windows Hello for Business container and keys are preserved, but the user's PIN that they use to authorize key usage is changed. Destructive and non-destructive PIN reset use the same steps for initiating a PIN reset. If users have forgotten their PINs but have an alternate sign-in method, they can navigate to sign-in options in settings and initiate a PIN reset from the PIN options. If users don't have an alternate way to sign into their devices, PIN reset can also be initiated from the Windows lock screen in the PIN credential provider. For hybrid Azure AD joint devices, users must have corporate network connectivity to domain controllers to complete destructive PIN reset. Let's go to our test Windows 10 device. The pin reset configuration can be viewed by running dsregcmd slash status command. Let's right click on start button and select Windows PowerShell admin. Click on yes. At PowerShell type command dsregcmd space slash status and press enter key to execute the command. Go to the user state section. We need to look for can reset line. If can reset reports as destructive only, then only destructive pin reset is enabled. If can reset reports destructive and non destructive, then non destructive pin reset is also enabled. In our case, as we can see, non destructive pin reset is currently not enabled on this Windows 10 device. So in this video, we are going to enable non-destructive pin reset for our test Windows 10 device. Let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a global administrator or an Intune service administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL HTTPS endpoint.microsoft.com. Before we can remotely reset pins, we must register pin reset service application in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Let's connect Azure Active Directory with the pin reset service. We need to go to the Microsoft pin reset service production website and sign in using a global administrator account you use to manage your Azure Active Directory tenant. Let me open new tab and paste the Microsoft PIN Research Service Production website URL. Let me paste the URL here and select paste and go to. I'll provide the link of this URL in the description. Select the account which you want to use. In our case, we will use our global administrator account, Manhar Rakulia. Let me click on it. Select Accept to give consent to the PIN Research Service to access our organization. 
we can confirm that the pin reset service principle is registered in our azure active directory tenant from azure ad admin center we will check the status of the service later on before we can remotely reset pins a device is must be configured to enable pin recovery using non destructive pin reset method to configure when this device is to use the microsoft pin reset service using intune we need to create a configuration profile with required settings let's go to microsoft endpoint manager admin center web page on home page click on groups we have created one test device group named test win client click on group name under manage click on members we can see the windows 10 device named lab win10 hyphen cli01 is listed as a member of this group we will create configuration profile and assign it to test win client group later we will check the result on this windows 10 device click on devices under policy click on configuration profiles click on create profile plus icon on the create a profile blade under platform select windows 10 and later select profile type as settings a catalog click on create button on the basic step enter a descriptive name for this configuration profile here i am giving name enable non destructive pin reset for windows devices Optionally we can enter a description for this policy. Select next. In configuration settings, click add settings. In the settings speaker, we need to find the windows hello for business. Click on windows hello for business. Select the checkbox in front of enable a pin recovery. So we need to select enable pin recovery. Now close the settings speaker window. Configure enable pin recovery to true. Click next. In scope tags, assign any applicable tags else click next to continue. In our case, we will go with default scope tag. On the assignments page, click on add groups. From the list, we will select our test win client group. click on select make sure test win client group is listed under groups click next to continue on review plus create page review your settings which you have selected when we click on create changes are saved and the profile is assigned when you are ready click on create we can see the confirmation message policy enable non destructive pin reset for windows devices created successfully if required click on refresh the policy is also display in the configuration profiles list let's go to our windows 10 device first let's initiate the manual sync with the intune click on sync and wait for the sync process to complete Okay as we can see the sync process is completed successfully now i'm going to restart this windows 10 device click on restart after restart let's again sign into our windows 10 device open powershell admin click on yes And again, type dsrag cmd slash status command and press enter key. Go to users state section. This time we can see can reset reports destructive and non-destructive. That means now the non-destructive pin reset is also enabled on this Windows 10 device. Let's understand the background process. while we perform the non destructive pin reset 
when non destructive pin reset is enabled on a client a 256 bit aes key is generated locally the key is added to a user's windows hello for business container keys work as a pin reset protector This pin reset protector is encrypted using a public key retrieved from the Microsoft pin reset service and then stored on the client for later use during pin reset. After a user initiate a pin reset, completes authentication and multi-factor authentication to Azure Active Directory, the encrypted pin reset protector is sent to the Microsoft pin reset service. decrypted and again written to the client computer the decrypted pin reset protector is used to change the pin used to authorize windows hello for business keys and it is then cleared from the memory this is how non destructive pin reset works in background now let's test the non destructive pin reset on our test windows 10 device But first let's check out the certificate timestamp. For that we can use certutil command and mmc certificate store. In the last video we have used the mmc certificate store to check the certificate date. This time we will use certutil command. Type cmd certutil space hyphen csp microsoft passport key storage provider space hyphen key space hyphen v and press enter key this will show us the certificate information this is the certificate serial number and this is the date and a time stamp note down the time stamp of this certificate i'm going to take a screenshot of this date and a time stamp uh, let me open paint and uh, let me paste that screenshot okay uh, i'm going to save it on desktop okay uh let's close a windows partition let's sign out from this device for testing purpose we want to reset pin for our user test user 2 to do that We need to click on I forgot my pin option. Wait for a few seconds. Then it loads up new window. In that we have to enter user's password to perform the authentication. Enter test user to his password and click on next. Click on text me at mobile number to get an OTP code on registered mobile number. enter the otp code now let's click on next then the new page is open up with a warning about a pin reset you can see reset pin uh, click on reset pin system prompt for a change your pin in destructive pin reset it ask us to provide the new pin but here in non destructive pin reset we can see this time it is asking us to change your pin so provide a new pin and click on okay after providing pin click on okay all set you are ready to go click on okay again this completes the pin reset process and now we can log in with the new pin let me enter the new pin Now open PowerShell admin. Click on yes. We are going to check the certificate timestamp. Again run the previous command and press enter key. If we look at the certificate, nothing has changed after the reset and that's because of non destructive pin reset. Uh let me show you the image which we have captured earlier. Here we can see the date and timestamp are same. In the last video, when we have performed the destructive pin reset, at that time the certificate date and time changed. But in non-destructive pin reset, 
it remains the same. That is the difference between destructive pin reset and non-destructive pin reset. Let's confirm that the two pin reset service principles are registered in our Azure Active Directory tenant. Go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Open a new tab and type URL aad.portal.azure.com and press Enter key to access Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Click on Enterprise Applications. As you can see, both Microsoft Pin Research Service Production and Microsoft Pin Reset Client Production are registered in our Azure Active Directory tenant. That's all for this video on how to enable non-destructive pin reset in Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. We have also tested the non-destructive pin reset on our test Windows 10 device and which was successful. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.